What's up everybody? Awkward Anxious Jennifer here, and I'm glad there's a good amount of sunlight. Um, the lighting is not going to be as good as usual because I have a migraine today. Um, I usually get one about every 28 days. Um, that's something lovely that I inherited from my mother. Oh, come here, why did I... Um, and really I should <laughs> look at my calendar and just plan ahead and know that every 28 days I'm not going to get a whole lot of work done. My goodness, why are you being so whiny? Um, it's just extra frustrating right now because my best paying client finally gave me work yesterday. It's a $400 project that I should be able to finish within five to maybe 10 hours at the most. Uh, and I had really hoped to get a lot of that project done today, but, um, I, I tried to work earlier and the brightness from my screen and especially in like a word document where it's mostly just white too much um, can't do it so anyway when I was trying to take a nap it gave me an idea for a video um, I wanted to do some research where are you going um, between the connection between chronic illness and mental health uh, luckily, I don't, where are you going? Um, don't have like chronic physical pain. I mean, my back bothers me a lot when I don't take care of it. Um, but I don't have a lot of the serious illnesses that some of you all have. But I know that there's a connection between mental health and depression in particular, and also anxiety. So I did a little bit of research to um, kind of help you all validate your feelings, maybe. Um, I usually pull information up on my computer right here, but I couldn't even turn it on. So I used my phone. Yes, hello, thank you. He must know I don't feel good. Uh, and wrote, hand wrote some notes. You want me to put you down? Um, about like statistics and stuff on the connection between uh, chronic illness and mental health. So, uh, people with chronic illness are at a higher risk of depression. And sometimes it's a very direct link, like uh, some illnesses actually cause changes in the brain, like uh, Parkinson's or stroke. And, you know, those physical changes in the brain can actually directly cause depression. Um, depression is common with a lot of uh, physical illnesses. But some in particular that were listed by the um, National Institute of Mental Health were cancer, coronary heart disease, diabetes, epilepsy, multiple scler sclerosis, stroke, Alzheimer's, HIV or AIDS, Parkinson's, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so in addition to like, the physical illnesses directly causing um, depression or anxiety, uh, medications that you take for your chronic illness can also cause depression. And um, research suggests that people with depression and other medical illnesses tend to have more severe depression, more severe symptoms of both their mental health and physical health. Um, and also the risk of physical illness is higher with depression. So, um, having depression can make you more susceptible to other health conditions. And um, <clears throat> like I know in my case in particular with my bipolar disorder and you know d d depression that I have usually kind of recurringly, even though I'm more stable now, I think since I spent most of my 20s depressed, I didn't really mm, have the energy to develop good skills of taking care of myself. So I think my weight is really closely tied to my mental health and being overweight puts me at greater risk of things like, um, <clears throat> you know, stroke and heart disease and diabetes and all that good stuff. So another website said that uh, people with a chronic illness are twice as likely to suffer from anxiety or depression as um, other people. And for some conditions, it's even higher than that. So for example, people with chronic pain or cancer um, well, this is something else, sort of, but people with uh, conditions like chronic pain or cancer 
one in five people develop PTSD as a result of that chronic illness. And um, depression is also tied to inflammation. So any condition that causes inflammation in the body is also more likely to trigger depression. And also people with chronic stress, especially tied to a physical health condition, are more likely to develop a mental health condition. Uh, and then another website, and I'm gonna link below um, to all the websites that I got this information from if you wanna learn more. Um, one third of people with chronic illness experience symptoms of depression. And uh, this website gave you tips to help you cope, which um, today on a day when I don't feel good, kind of, these tips kind of sound laughable, but um, Chronically Jackie, I think was really good at doing a lot of these things. So um, I know they're possible even when some days it doesn't feel possible. So some of the tips lift, listed by the Cleveland Clinic are learn how to live with the physical effects of your illness and learn how to deal with the treatments. Make sure you have clear communication with your doctors. Maintain emotional balance to cope with negative feelings. Try to maintain confidence and positive self-image and get help when depression symptoms appear. So if I felt better, I would maybe try to make this video longer, but I, that's all I could manage for today. Uh, now, I'm lucky in that 99% um, chance I'll wake up tomorrow and feel much better. It's just this every 28 days migraine and uh, other symptoms that just oh, kicks my butt. So um, anyway, um, I guess I wanted to film this to help you know that if you have depression or anxiety or other mental health issues directly tied to chronic health issues, you're not alone and it's really common. And I don't know if that makes you feel better, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for. Anyway, um, I hope you all have a great day um, and um, be nice to each other. And I'll talk to you later when I feel better. Have a good day.